ruptured the time continuum. Didn't you? You're experiencing temporal reversion. Yeah. How long? Uh, a day and some change. It's like I'm living it all over again. Yeah, well, that's good. That means there's not too much you could have messed up yet. How did this happen? I, I don't know. I mean, I, I was running faster than I've ever ran. And the first time that I lived this day, some really horrible things happened. There was a tidal wave. No, and... do not tell me. I do not want to know anything about the future you experience. Nothing. Okay, but Dr. Wells, I... Barry, time is an extremely fragile construct. Any deviation, no matter how small, could result in a cataclysm. Now, here's what you're going to do. Everything you did before, every word you uttered, every step you took, you're going to do again. And you're not going to tell anyone this happened. Good day, Dr. Wells. Time will tell, Gideon. Show me the future. As you wish. The future remains intact, Dr. Wells. If anything changes, alert me immediately. Of course, Doctor. I warned you not to mess with the timeline. Dr. Wells, if you would just let me tell you what was gonna happen, you'd understand why I did this. Whatever tragedy you think you've just averted, time will find a way to replace it. And trust me, Barry, the next one could be much worse. I don't get it. I've been running just as fast as I was when it happened and nothing. I, I, I'm still here. Well, any number of things could have triggered the wormhole that allows you to repeat your day, your emotions, your circumstances, your cortisol levels, all of the above. Um, I mean, my adrenaline was super high since Iris and the entire city. No, 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 no details, I told you. All right, I'm sorry, but Mark Martin's already locked in the pipeline and nothing bad has happened. Yet? All right, Dr. Wells, you were right. I, I, I screwed with time, and now time is screwing with me. Cole is back, he kidnapped Cisco, and Iris is... Stop right there before you cause another disruption to the timeline. Please, Dr. Wells. Please, I have to talk to someone. Go ahead. In the previous version of today, Captain Singh is seriously injured. Joe is in danger, and Iris said she had feelings for me. And now Cisco's life is on the line, and Iris has no idea she confessed those feelings. I thought that I was helping people by stopping Martin. Yes, but this new ability of yours, Barry, is dangerous. You only traveled back in time one day. What if you traveled back decades, centuries? Imagine the havoc you could wreak. I will have the opportunity to travel back in time in the near future and save my mom. Or you're saying I shouldn't? I'm saying, how many more people could die if your mother lives? I think you did what you felt was right in the moment. And really, Barry, that's the best any of us can hope for. Now let's be thankful the timeline remains intact. <laughs>